the second in a series of screencasts that I'm doing talking about a remote call center solution that's built using JavaScript. Uh, and its centerpiece is a jQuery library called Phono, which lets you build telephony and communication applications in your browser. In the previous screencast, I talked about this layer here, which includes Phono, an instance of CouchDB, and a Couch app, which serves up Phono-enabled web pages. In this screencast, I want to talk about this piece here in the middle. This is Node.js, and we have a Node.js script that will basically act as middleware in between Asterisk, which is an open source telephony platform, and CouchDB. Now you remember from the previous screencast, CouchDB actually holds the unique identifiers for all of our remote agents that have a Phono web page open in front of them, and they have a Phono phone ready to accept a phone call. What we want Node.js to do is query this CouchDB instance and give Asterisk the SIP address of an agent that is now ready to accept a phone call. And then Asterisk will then call that remote agent by placing a SIP call to their browser. So if you go over to the solution uh, repository on GitHub, it's at github.com slash mhead slash remote agent. And what you will see is a couple of uh, directories that I just want to clarify a little bit. So there's a node folder that has the actual node script that we'll be using. It's essentially a TCP server, and what it will do is it will listen for connections from asterisk. And uh, you may notice this um, uh, setting here that is actually quite familiar from what we looked at in the previous screencast. This is the CouchDB view that we wrote. Uh, it's written in JavaScript, and it looks up a single agent who is in a state of ready, and we will then return the SIP address for that agent who is ready to take a phone call to asterisk, and basically tell asterisk, make a phone call to that agent. Uh, the other thing I want to draw your attention to is uh, this folder called asterisk, which has in it a very simple um, example of an extensions.conf file. If you run asterisk, then you'll know what this is. Um, even if you don't consider yourself an expert in asterisk, it's pretty easy to work with. Uh, basically, what I demonstrate here in this example is just a simple uh, context that has um, basically uh, one entry in it. Uh, when I dial 5555, uh, asterisk will then redirect my call uh, to this um, uh, TCP server that's waiting for a connection. In this case, it's the node script we just looked at. And what my node script will do is tell asterisk, send this call to our remote agent at this SIP address. And I should be able to call that remote agent. Uh, the whole process should be very transparent to me uh, as the caller. And I should be able to see the phone ring, my phono phone ring, uh, in my remote agent's web browser. So this is the remote agent database we talked about in the previous screencast. And you can see there's no agents currently online. So let's change that. OK, you'll notice that I used the pretty URL we set up in the previous screencast. And my phono instance is loaded, and I'm ready to take a phone call. And if I go back over to my database, I can see, yep, there's a agent who is in a state of ready. And the document ID for this CouchDB document is actually my SIP address that we're going to call. So what I've got uh, set up is uh, an Astra server that I'm running locally. And I'm going to just invoke the command line interface so I can see what's going on. <clears throat> I also want to run this node script uh, that is part of the uh, remote agent solution. And when I invoke it, I want to give it a couple of um, parameters. Uh, just the IP address of the CouchDB server and the IP address that the TCP server should bind to. And then just the default ports for CouchDB asterisk uh, TCP connections. Okay, so now that TCP server is listening uh, on this IP address uh, at this port, and my asterisk instance is ready to take, is ready to, we can see the action happening in this uh, interface here. So let's go back over to our uh, Phono client. This represents our remote agent, and just for the purposes of this screencast, what I'm going to do is uh, just use this SIP phone, which I've got set up as an extension on my asterisk server. In the next screencast, what I'll do is I'll actually move the asterisk portion out to the cloud using the Trojo platform. So we'll be able to provision real telephone numbers uh, and make a, a very realistic call from an actual telephone number to a phono instance running in a web browser. For now, if I dial that five-digit, or uh, excuse me, four-digit extension that we saw in our example file, what I should see is I should see this phono object uh, ring. Agent 94, this is command base. Please answer your communicator. 
the future of the universe. Now what you'll notice is that the state of this agent has changed, just like just like yesterday. So when I hang that phone up, uh, my agent should then go back to a ready state. So that agent is now ready to take a phone call again. And if I look in my Note script, I can see that in fact, Node did tell Asterisk to go ahead and call this SIP address, transfer the caller to that SIP address. And I'll also see some activity here in my, um, my Asterisk console. Uh, so that's it. Uh, what I've done now is I've actually connected uh, Asterisk to my CouchDB instance that holds my Phono identifiers. And I did it with Node.js. So we've got a lot of JavaScript at work here, and all of our components are coming together. So in the next screencast, what I'll do is I'll take this asterisk component and I'll move it out to the cloud using the Tropo platform. And we'll be able to use a real-world telephone number to call a Phono instance that is running in our web browser.